you previously spent time in rehab. L looking back, what do you think you learned from those experiences? Um, you know, I think if somebody wants to quit drinking and there's so many different ways you do it, just do it the way that makes you quit drinking. Like you asked me the question, if I want to quit smoking, well, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if other people want you to quit smoking or other people want you to quit drinking. It, it takes you to do it. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm never going to drink again. Um, I think I've had one crown and diet Coke in six years. Um, but I, I don't think I'm the type of guy that needs to go to the meetings and to involve myself into all that over again because that's the reason I started drinking again back when when I started really drinking a lot after Betty Ford in 97. What, what about that made you? I couldn't stand to go to the meetings and listen to everybody how they used to drink if, why they did this or this and that it just I, I didn't want to live in the past and I know I went to a lot of different meetings I know I should maybe kept going and going and going to them but I just, I just gave up on the meetings. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody says you have to go to the meetings. Nobody says that's the 100% cure either. Mm -hmm. But um, I just feel like for people listening to this interview that if you want to quit something, you don't always have to listen to the people that are telling you to quit. It's not going to do you any good. You got to listen to yourself if you want to quit something. That's called the first step, basically. You, know, you admit that you have a problem. Now you have to do something about it. You know, nobody can make anybody quit anything. There were two different occasions when you were, I think, on the highway driving to rehab um, where you had actually contemplated suicide. Yeah, I was on a mountain in Palm Springs, ready to just drive off of it. What were you, like, thinking about then that had you in that mental space? I think just getting pulled a million different ways and trying to take in what everybody was saying and then I got to go to rehab in 92 or whatever. Um, I don't know. I just thought, it, is it really worth it? But I just, I, I think just knowing I had kids or if it was Shina, um, that I want to watch her grow up. I don't, I don't want her to lose her dad. You know, speaking of kids, it was uh, little John and wanting to get custody of him. Your girlfriend, Anna, was telling me that really made you stop drinking cold turkey. Um, what was it uh, about that that really was what got you to stop? It was very, very tough. Sherry made it very difficult to see him. And it, was, and it got to the point where, you know, the judge had had enough and blah, blah, blah. But when I was getting him, we just had the time of our lives. And I didn't have to go sit at the club here and get drunk. I didn't have to go out and get drunk. I didn't have to go do this. I just wanted to be with him.